A portion of a bridge in the U.S. state of Maryland has collapsed after a large boat struck it, causing multiple vehicles to fall into the water below, Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott says he is aware of the incident at the Francis Scott Key Bridge in the city, and is in contact with local authorities, Scott says, I'm aware of and en route to the incident at the Key Bridge. Emergency personnel are on scene, and efforts are underway. Baltimore City Police have just confirmed with us that it is possible that there are workers in the water after the Key Bridge collapse. Holy hell. I want to know what the bang was. Ship hit the key bridge, sinking, the bridge is gone. Holy hell. Armed Shiite units belonging to the Iraqi Islamic resistance movement fired rockets at the military airfield in Harab al Jair, which is used by American forces stationed at bases in the Syrian province of Hasaka. Al Mayadeen TV channel reported this, according to channel, several strong explosions were heard at the airfield, and a thick column of smoke rose into the sky. Previously, this military facility was attacked by a kamikaze drone, no information was provided about the consequences of the attack according to our Novosti reports, an American base in the Karab al Jair area in the Hasaka province in northeastern Syria came under rocket fire, but four missiles were fired at the American base in Karab al Jair, resulting in several explosions and a fire. A source close to the situation told the agency, after this, American helicopters were lifted into the air. There are no reports of casualties. Attacks by Shiite militias against American bases in Syria and Iraq began in October 2023 after the Israeli invasion of the Gaza Strip and stopped two weeks ago with the beginning of the Muslim fast in the month of Ramadan, according to the Al Modin news portal. U.S. military installations in Syria have been subject to 99 attacks since October 2023 by Iranian-backed militias fighting on the side of the Syrian army against terrorists from the Islamic State group. NATO is encouraging its member nations to stock supplies for World War III. Saber-rattling between NATO and Russia has intensified in the past month, including French President Emmanuel Macron repeating the possibility of sending ground troops to Ukraine. According to Newsweek, Pierre Schill, the commander of France's ground forces, said that it could command a 60,000-strong force in Ukraine and that troops would be ready if called upon with threats from Russia that any intervention in Ukraine could lead to wider global conflict. Some have suggested that NATO is encouraging its member nations to stock supplies for World War III. A March the 20th post on X by commentator Ian Miles Chung that has been viewed 57,000 times said, NATO is now telling people to stock up on supplies in the event that World War III begins tomorrow. Next level fearmongering. You know none of them are actually taking this seriously because the media's only talking about Kate Middleton and European politicians and celebrities aren't even bothering to hunker down and do anything that would even remotely imply that they're thinking about any potential for a conflict with Russia. If they were really so pressed, they'd have started the draft and mobilized production on munitions instead of worrying about carbon taxes and climate change. The post included a video of Admiral Rob Bauer, chair of the NATO military committee in which he said, you need to have water, you need to have a radio on batteries and you need to have a flashlight on batteries to make sure that you can survive the first 36 hours. Things like that. It's simple things. While some of what Bauer said could be interpreted in the manner described by Chung, the context of the conversation should be considered. Bauer's comments were taken from a joint press conference from January the 18th, where he did speak about preparedness, albeit with a little more depth than the truncated clip and social media post provides. Bauer was asked for his reaction to Swedish citizens panic buying radios that don't need electricity, tents and signing up for self-defense forces. The Swedish government had recently warned citizens that war could come to the country, France 24 reported.